Oh yo, what is going on? It's the DFS Shark. This is my nightly chalkboard slip video. As I say in every video, the point of these videos is to get a solid two-man slip out there so these lines don't get bumped or get removed by morning time. So these plays usually have lower payouts, but higher odds to hit. Uh, but as always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, you'll like these nightly breakdowns, kind of just getting in and out, getting you straight to the plays so we can lock those in. Drop a like, um, drop a comment if you haven't, um, put that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as I drop these videos. If you want these plays before I even make the video, join the Discord um, and then go into the Discord here, you'll see a free play section. This is where I post all of my plays as well. I posted a five man slip in there as well today, but the Discord's the spot to be for that. And if you're not on Chalkboard, make sure you drop that code in SHARK at sign up. They're gonna match you with 100% match. And then message me in the Discord as well, and I'll set you up in the premium for 30 days so we can start getting some dubs together. But this was yesterday's play. I want to go over yesterday's play. You can see Brandon Miller hit, man. He killed that line for us. Jaden Ivey just couldn't do nothing, right? He started having, he started heating up a little like the fourth quarter, um, but ultimately he just couldn't get it done. Got off to a slow start, which really hurt us. Um, so nothing we can do there, man. You're going to take wins. You're going to take losses. That's the way it is. We've been winning a lot more. Then we've been losing, on, especially on these free plays. We're on to the next night. Um, the number one play I'm going to be going with today, I got a two-man slip, like I said. It's going to be Kevin Herter. We're going to be going over two and a half rebounds. Right? You can see his last five, he's hit this 60% of the time. His last 10, 70%. Last 20, 65%. Head-to-head, -head, he's hit this two out of three against the Bucks. This is going back to last season. But they played him back in January, and he had 10 rebounds here. So he crushed that line. For the year, he's hit this at 59%. He's been in this line a lot. As far as injuries, Keegan Murray is a game time decision. It says he's questionable for Tuesday's game. Keegan Murray, right? He got over here, he got Giannis Middleton, game time decisions. Um, and this is going to be a close spread here. Sacramento plus one, right? So it's going to be a close played game here. Herder plays a decent amount of minutes if you go to like his last 10 here. Um, he averages about 24.7. So he doesn't play like heavy 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 minutes but he can get enough to get on the court and get you those rebounds right you can see here his last four or five at home he's averaged 3.4 rebounds a game so he's been doing well on the rebounds we're going to be locking in herder it's going to be our first play our second play is going to be jalen brunson over six and a half assist here this is a play we were on the other night and he hit this line as well you got 10 or eight right here sorry you got eight um and they are playing philly again and you can see a big reason why I like this game. So if you look at his last five, this was, they're counting this as a loss here. Um, but I believe he got hurt this game, so he didn't even play the whole game. So this would really be like, you know, 60% or whatever, last 20. But the reason I'm liking this play is you can see head-to-head -head against um, Philly. He has just destroyed them. Every time he's played, he's gone over this line except this game here. Um, but his last two versus them, and this was his last game too as well. He had eight assists. But he's gone for 12 and 8 in his last two against them. So I'm liking this play a lot. There's a minus four and a half spread. So not big blowout potential. Um, if you watch this game last game, it was a terrible game by both teams. They were both missing it. The score at the half was like 30 to 30. One of the lowest scoring games I've seen in a long while. Right. But so Brandon Brunson was still able to hit this line here. So I'm liking this play on Brunson here going over here. Of course, he's going to play heavy minutes. So these are two I'm feeling really confident about going into tomorrow. Try to build that bankroll up with these plays. Here is the slip. If you want to screenshot this, if you want to lock this in, like I said, come tomorrow, this line might change or these lines could get bumped completely. You just never know, right? But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Make sure if you're not on chalkboard, you drop in that code SHARK so they can hook you up with a 100% match and then shoot me that message on Discord and I will get you all taken care of. Drop a like, drop a comment on this video if you like these quick breakdowns, these nightly breakdowns as we go into the next day. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Y'all have a great rest of the night. Take care.